Hello folks, welcome back to another episode right here on the Teen Talk Show, where teens and many others are welcome to share their stories with us. My name is Yosef, I'm your host, here in Peaches Town Access and serving the community for the better future of tomorrow. Now, today I'm sitting down with one of the most hottest stars that we all know and love, Marlene Lopez, here to tell us a little bit about herself so we can get to know her. And Marlene, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Some of the things that you've been working on, we've seen you on the covers and modeling and things like that. Yeah, I'm focusing a lot on my career and college and basically modeling, singing, dancing, acting, all that is my passion. Wow. And I believe in you always do your best and believe in yourself and what you send your mind to, you can always achieve it. And Focusing on that, I believe in myself, and yeah. Yeah. How long? How long have you been doing this? Is this something that you've always wanted to do? Oh yes. Ooh, since I was a little girl, I've always liked it. I've always really? liked dancing and acting and modeling since I can remember. Little. Girl. Wow. Tell yeah. us a little bit about dancing. Oh, I love dancing. Any type of. What music, kind of? What kind of dance? I like what, it. Oh, okay. I like salsa, merengue, hip hop. I like a lot of type tango. Mm. Nice Zumba. merengue. What is that? Merengue. Where's that from? That's from Mexico. Oh, Mexico. But I take there's it a lot of different Mexico, cultures huh? that have merengue, like, like you know, cumbias. Mm -hmm. But nice. merengue is different, though. You move different. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Another thing is that I'll be wondering. Can you tell us a little bit about your ethnicity background? Yeah. Um, both of my parents are from Mexico. Okay. And, well, all my family is from Mexico. I was born in California. And oh. Yeah. You know. Born and raised in Cali. Well, I wasn't really raised. I was, I would say I was raised here in Seattle. I was born okay. in Inglewood, L.A. Mm -hmm. I was there since I was like five years old. Came here, and I've been living here since. I just go for the summer vacation. But I would say I was raised here in Seattle. Okay, very interesting. So, have you been working on any other new projects ever since? I've uh, I've heard that you work were, was working on a music video a couple months back, and I mm -hmm. always want, been was really interested in in having the time to get the chance to talk to you about that. And I wanted to know what how was it like, what was that feeling like being on the set and the working with those um, new with working with new uh, what's it called new gen. Mm -hmm. Next, Next new generation gen. of music. Yeah. Yes. How was that? It was very exciting. Very young, talented men, and that are striving for you know their dreams and believe. Mm -hmm. I like that people that believe in themselves and know they can do it. It was very exciting. Once I got there, I'm like, I'm ready to do whatever you tell me. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm not nervous. I can do it. I'm ready. Just tell me. It was very wow. exciting. It was fun. You have to enjoy what you love to do. You know and. I was happy. <laughs> Everything turned out great, and we nice. all had a lot of fun. Okay. What do you, what, what did you think about the storyline? The it, what was the, it's called? What if? Mm -hmm. What if you had the man of your dreams who has all the money, or what if you had the one who is just a normal guy who's just there who really has so much love for mm -hmm. you? Who would you? Who would have you picked on that? Honestly. <clears throat> who I would have picked out of two of the guys. I would have picked the guy I was with, not the one that has all the money, because money does not buy love. And you don't, you can have all the money in the world. That doesn't mean, you don't choose who you fall in love with. And I prefer no. to stay who has always been there for me. And I'll be there for him, whether he has the money or not, during bad and good times. The money to me is not important. Wow. I would have choose who I was with. Not the Very guy nice. with not the rich guy and was willing to give me everything. Mm -hmm. I have everything with the man that I love. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. And they picked you as the main main girl on yeah. the video. Yeah, that was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what 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 are you uh, what are you doing now? Now I'm just focusing on college. I'm still doing a few projects. Um Still focusing also on my career, you know, the modeling and acting, mm -hmm. mostly, okay. you know. And 
then in October we should have like a fashion show coming up in Seattle. So hope yeah, we can make it. Yeah, nice, very nice. Getting ready for that. Yeah, and for the, some of the people that's wa you know watching this, eh, what is your advice to them if they want to get into something, and, you know, mm -hmm. get involved in projects like this? I would say go for it. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be what if you know this happens. Don't think positive. Always stay positive with a positive mind. Believe in yourself that you can do it, and don't let anyone tell anyone tell you otherwise. Believe in yourself and anything's possible. I mean, believe in your dreams. Yes, absolutely. You always, always, always. I mean, it's not just luck because things happen. It's hard work mm -hmm. and you have to mm -hmm. prove it to other people. You got it and you're willing to show it to them and give them your all. I say go for it. Go for your dreams. Strive for it all. Very nice. Again, Marlene, yeah, I really want, I appreciate you coming down today on the set. And to tell us a little bit about Thank yourself, you. you know, it's always a pleasure. Again, I would love to invite you to come back. Of course. Always. And thank you so much for inviting me. No problem. <laughs> Is there anything else that you'd <laughs> like to say? Oh, well, I want to thank you and DC for having me here and everyone else. I really appreciate it a lot for having the time to talk mm -hmm. to me and get to know me better, everyone yeah. that's here. And there was a little secret I was going to tell you. I'm actually going to go back to boxing, too. Boxing? boxing. Oh, this is very interesting. <laughs> yeah. You're a boxer, huh? Yeah. I'm very excited for <laughs> Better it. Better watch out. <laughs> Since She's I coming. was seven years old, and I'm ready to go back also. Wow. So it's a lot of things at once. But it's possible. You know, you have to make time for each thing. Wow. And that's that's really interesting because I didn't know you 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 boxed. Honestly, that's my favorite sport. Boxing is my favorite sport. Okay. Next comes basketball, then football, but boxing is my favorite sport. I love it. Wow. Yeah. And so, I don't think it's about you know hitting somebody and mm -hmm. hurting them. No, it's about you know your skills and you know techniques. It's it's not about. A lot of people think it's about violence. It's, I don't see it like that at all. Really. Mm mm. Wow. And that's also something I enjoy. I have fun doing. I like competitions. I like things that are, com you know, competitive. Something okay. I can challenge myself with. And you feel boxing is just one of those sports. It's, it's a challenging sport. I think, you know, every I sport is so challenging. Too. It's hard. It is. You gotta, it's hard work. And, you know, when you're in that ring, you're hoping... All that hard work pays off. Man. It does. And, and you want to know what? It feels really good, too. Oh, yes. It does. <laughs> Whether you win or lose. It still feels great, you know, you mm -hmm. give it your all and you're in that ring. It's just like if you're uh, on stage performing. That's yes. your stage, you're taking over. Mm -hmm. And that's my ring and I will take over. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, Marlene, I will appreciate you coming down and looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you, um, I appreciate you having me here. No problem, thank you so much. Again, uh, everybody out there, I wanna thank you all for coming out. I look forward to seeing you guys all next time right here on the Teen Talk Show. I wanna thank my producer, DC, and everybody else that's been supporting us and watching this show. Thank you, see you next time. Bye.